In this video, Python set comprehensions. We're going to learn what sets are, how to iterate over them, the differences between set comprehensions and dictionary comprehensions, as well as much more. So how can we create a set in Python? Well, we can use the built-in function and initiate an empty set or pass a iterable to it. The second way is using the squiggly notation and passing our values right in there, and that'll create a set. The third way is again using the squiggly notation, um, but iterating over it and doing what's called a set comprehension, and that's what we're learning about today. So you could do i for i in any iterable, such as one, two, three, and there we have our set. Now you may be thinking, this looks pretty similar to a dictionary comprehension, and I'll show you the difference. If we were to do a dictionary, we would need a key value pair. So you see right here how I'm creating a key and a value? Well, this would be a dictionary, whereas this is a set. And we can test this out by assigning it to variables and checking the type. So A will be our set, and we can check that. And then B will be our dictionary comprehension, and we'll create B. And then we can check the type of B and see that we've, we've created a dictionary that has key value pairs. So I guess what's important to note is both use the squiggly notation, but if you're only going to pass values, you're gonna end up with a set. Whereas if you pass a key value pair, you're going to end up with a dictionary. And it works the same as if you were going to just create it from scratch, right? So let's say um, C is some sort of dictionary. So we'll do like one, two, uh, three, four, okay? So that's C and that is a dictionary. Whereas if we did D equals one, two, three, um, that is a set and we can check that as well. So it's the same concept in a comprehension uh, versus just creating the values straight up where um, if there's no key value pair, it's a set. If there is a key value pair, it's a dictionary. Next, I wanna talk about what we can pass to a set comprehension. So in this case, we had passed a list, but know that you can pass pretty much anything that is an iterable. So we could pass a set to our set comprehension. Uh, we could pass a tuple to our set comprehension. We could even just pass a string because a string is an iterable as well. So we can pass any iterable to our set comprehension, similar to a list comprehension or any sort of Python comprehension. Next, let's talk about what makes a set a set and its unique identifying characteristics. And that is that a set only contains unique elements. And what I mean by that is let's say we had our simple one, two, three set. Well, that'll work just fine because each of these values is unique. There's only one of them, there's no duplicates. But as soon as you add another three or two threes or as many threes as you want, it's only going to pick up one of them. It's not going to pick up the duplicates. So we can add as many twos and ones and threes in here as we want, throw in a four for good measure. Um, the only values that you're gonna get are the unique values. So all these other threes won't make it into a set because we're only talking about unique elements. So this unique characteristic of sets well, how would this apply in a set comprehension? Well, there could be some gotchas, and th this is what I wanna make you guys aware of. So let's just say we did i times two, and we multiplied every value, two, four, six, that works just fine. But what if the logic was such that not all the values were unique anymore? So how about we multiply it by two if i equals three, else we'll do i times three, okay? So we'll multiply by two or we'll multiply it by three depending. And you'll see that the output is three and six. We're not getting all of our values back. And that's because there would have been doubles. Um, so one would have been multiplied by three and become three. Two would have been multiplied by three and become six. And then three would have been multiplied by two and become six. So you would have had a situation where you had three, six, six. And when you run 366, you can see that you're only getting one of those sixes back. So this is something that I think as you get into more complicated set comprehensions, 
could become an issue, could be something that just kind of goes over your head where some of those values, those duplicates will be gone from the list, gone from the set. And keep in mind, it's not just numbers. So say we had some strings and we had hey, and we had bro, and we had hey. When we run this, we only have hey bro because these two hey's were duplicates and we only get one of those in our set because again, a set is a, connection, a collection of unique elements. So in this video, we found out how to create sets, we found out how to iterate over them with set comprehensions, and we looked at the difference between a set comprehension and a dictionary comprehension. We also looked at some potential gotchas that could happen around creating duplicates. So this is our basic set, our set comprehension. Um, I hope you got something out of this video, and thanks for watching.